thank you for joining me here in Pink Museums. Today I'm heading to the Musical Instrument Museum. I'm going to check one exhibition. Uh, I'm more interested in just picking one exhibition and showcasing. Uh, gonna try and have some fun here. This is a Musical Instrument Museum. I saw that exhibition, it's called the Congo Mask and Music. That was an awesome exhibition. But today I'm gonna to be picking up a different exhibition to show you guys. So if this is your first time on this channel, Think Museums, please go ahead, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on that notification bell because there's a lot of things coming up. All right, I'm here at the Musical Instrument Museum. I have to mask up. See, I have to mask up. Yeah, so I'm walking into the Musical Instrument Museum. The Congo Mask Exhibition is still running. That's interesting. Oh yeah, it was running until 2021, September. So that's how it looks like. I'm going to leave a link to that Congo Exhibition so that you guys can check it out. I'm going to leave the link down below. Uh, I was there a few, I think a month ago, and I checked that exhibition. Okay. Yeah. So, there's a bunch of cactus here. Look at that, that looks nice. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. All right, perfect. Are we just doing the general galleries today? Or did yeah, you... just the general galleries. Oh, okay. Is there anything new that's come up? Um, the newest... Because I already saw the Congo mask. I yeah, just saw it. so that'll be here till um, next September and then we'll get a new... Um, special exhibit okay. but there's like a few new items throughout the galleries there's okay. actually a little um it's like a blue sheet that okay. lists all the new things oh, okay, in cool. the gallery. all right thank you thank you awesome. thanks so much bye bye guys. all right uh -huh. let's see what this video is all about that if we do not feed the music some portion of us will starve the musical instrument museum delights in and pays homage to these amplifiers of human emotion. We have gathered instruments from all parts of mankind in every corner of the world. Some of these instruments look familiar. Some might seem strange. But what is common to each of the more than 10,000 instruments we have collected is their ability to express the language of the soul from dialects around the world, all the more delightful for being heard but not spoken. We are done collecting artifacts. I don't think that's accurate, dear. Oh, sorry, I could, I think we're no, done collecting artifacts. I know my husband, he found some really great treasures. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, I want to take a photo of this as my thumb. Well, you should take a picture. So, I'm in the Musical Instrument Museum and I'm checking out the Asia Exhibition. So this is how the Asia Asia exhibition is gonna look like. Ah, they got a lot of uh, musical instruments from the Asian continent. So if you look here, this is Japan. Japan got a lot of stuff here to showcase. I like the the musical instruments are fine. You know, a lot of work put to develop all these musical instruments. That looks interesting, yeah. It's, it's a 19th century Gakusa. I don't know how they pronounce it, but there's the Japanese talk. There'll be Gakuso. Let me show you what uh, Gakuso is. This is what it looks like. And let me see. Oh, this is still Japan. They've got some nice, cool stuff here. Wow, most of these uh, musical instruments are uh, very ritualistic. They're for different rituals that they have for their, you know, in their ev everyday ceremonies. Look at that. That's what I got there. That looks like a ceremonial dress there. But um, 
I don't see the Kabuki. The Kabuki theater thing. I want to see if they have the... Kabuki is a famous kind of um, performance art in Japan. So I don't see the Kabuki. Where is that Kabuki? Uh, I don't see it here. But they have different kind of... Um, yeah, just mystical instrument and ritualistic kind of instruments. One thing they have, they have perfected is the playing of the of the flute from the bamboo. So that's how they do it. But this is cool. And this is how the Asian exhibition or the musical instrument looks like. So I'm gonna be heading down there to Singapore. And yeah, there's Laos and all sorts of exhibitions from different countries so yeah so again if this is your first time on this channel please go ahead subscribe turn on that notification bell and you know all this good stuff so that you don't miss on the cool stuff yeah look at that we are in Singapore and Singapore has some cool stuff too. You know, one thing I've noticed is the, how they perform the flute in Asia. It almost sounds the same every time I hear it, but it's different. This is cool. Look at that. This is from Singapore. Now I'm gonna head to Oh wow, this is the Tagong from Brunei and this looks like from Timor. This looks good too.
Thank you guys for joining me here in Pink Museum. That was an exhibition from Asia here at the Musical Instrument Museums. It was wonderful. They have a wide array of collections from Asia. You can see from behind me what they got. And this is fun. So I hope next time I'm going to try and showcase a different country altogether. But this is what we, I had to do for you guys today. Just to show you what other museums have you know so again thank you guys for joining me and until next time let's stay connected <laughs>